So who is digital media for? You might be looking for a career in the industry. Careers in things like film, or 3D gaming, or motion graphics, visual effects, virtual reality, augmented reality, and this is just to name a few. And by the way, over the 21 years or so we've had this program, we've had students at places like Pixar, which is feature film, 3D animation, industrial light and magic to do special effects for things like Star Wars. We've had students at 2K Games, 3D sports games. We've even had students who have won Academy Awards and Emmy Awards. We've had students doing 3D and 2D backgrounds for motion pictures like Marvel superheroes. We've had technical artists, environmental artists, modeling technician working at game studios. We've even had people doing 3D modeling and texturing for flight simulation companies. So it's basically for students interested in a career. It's also for people who are interested in creating a design and maybe they want to visualize it or print it in 3D. Maybe you're building a new birdhouse and you want to see spatially how it would look in 3D. We've had teachers take these classes in order to communicate concepts, difficult concepts that students need to understand visually, things in physics and anatomy, chemistry. You might be a traditional artist that you're interested in learning a new medium. Digital media might be for you. So what are some of the topics and the skills that we teach? Well, let's start at the beginning because a lot of these classes kind of build on each other. We start with foundations. We teach you how to learn how to see, how to look at images, how to work with images, how to take two images and composite them together, how to take those images, combine them with audio, and create a sequence. And then we go to 2D animation, you know, kind of drawing digitally, frame by frame, almost like the flipbook idea. And we teach stop motion, puppets, we teach motion graphics, and then we work towards cartoon animation or cell animation. Then we move into 3D modeling, and we teach students how to model hard surfaces like tables or chairs or structures. And then we say, let's take a design that exists only in 2D on paper, and let's realize it in 3D. Then we move on to 3D animation, and we really study things like cinematography and film lighting, where we look at the masters in film and ask, how are they lighting scenes? How are they moving the camera to tell stories, to create emotion? And then we say, how can we take objects and teach them and teach the students how to move them naturally? Say a branch that moves naturally in the wind or a pencil that's rolling on the table. How do you animate that to make it look real, naturalistic type of motion? And then we go into exaggerated cartoon types of animation. This type you see at Pixar, the way objects, an ordinary object might bounce around or have character and design. And then we move into one of the most popular topics that we teach in digital media, and that's 3D character design. So we ask students to come in with a sketch of a character, maybe something they've drawn their whole life, and we build it in 3D. We start with digital sculpting. We sculpt a character all digitally, in, including all of the detail and all of the different parts of the body, and then we take this digital sculpture in 3D and we attach bones inside the sculpture, and we create joints inside the sculpture, and then we teach the students how to make those joints and bones move with things like motion capture, taking motion that's been applied and, and, and taken from actual actors in a studio and applied to their 3D model to make it move. And then we take that character and we learn how to color it and shade it and apply textures to it. We learn how to put it in a 3D environment. And then finally we teach basic gameplay logic, all within a game engine that we use here at Parkland. So we teach the students how to add gameplay logic to their, to their characters, and then finally, these students have characters that are moving around, collecting points, getting more health, just like a regular game. And then we finish up with advanced topics in 3D, where we spend a lot of time at looking at how do I make something in 3D look real, like a photograph? How do I light it? How do I apply shaders and textures? How do I create depth of field the way an actual camera works? We look at things like visual effects or atmospheric effects, things like how do I create smoke and fire and things like fluid. So I hope that gives you a pretty good idea of what digital media is, what, what are the types of things we teach, who it might be for. So if you're interested in anything to do with 3D, please contact us at Parkland College.